bringing you two brand new fighters, some excellent MMA fighters. But throughout the evening, I hope you are appreciating all the blood, sweat, and tears they are literally putting into their passion. So the next match is now to MMA and fights. Please welcome for the red corner, coming to the cage, Sean Clancy Jr. Live. This is Evolution of Combat 4 from the Merry Hill Community Hall in Glasgow. You join us again for an exciting amateur MMA fight between Sean Clancy Jr. fighting out of higher level and John Igney fighting out of Reykjavik MMA in this under 72 kilogram amateur MMA contest. Sean Clancy Jr. only 16 years old and John, I've been told by his coach, just turned 18, so another promising young bout. 
both huge for their age as Absolutely well. Absolutely massive. Oh. Wild swing there from Sean. John manages the range well. Oh, chops and follows it up with a few strikes. And Sean turns it into a clinch. Yeah, pressing him against the fence here. See so him trying to get his head there under the chin of John. John Tra doing a good job of turning his hips sideways there to, yep. to negate the chance of any kind of takedown. Sean looking for some kind of body lock trip there. You see, John, John's got the underhook there. He could. Oh, and Sean double turns unders. in, but he's got the double unders now, so. And he drops, looking to connect his hands together, but again, with that underhook, it's going to be very difficult. I don't think John has that hand under the chin. He's not really looking for the guillotine. No, he's just I think using he's just, it to using defend it to, the takedown. Yeah. But that's ah, it. And he gets him away safety. and finishes the takedown. Lands straight into side control. Oh, but John looking up, looking to get back up. Won't be able to finish that guillotine. No, no, it's not from this, not from this cross body, not from this cross body angle like that. He's, he's holding on. He's holding on like mad. But yeah, there's nothing there. He's just going to tire it's his arm a out. Tight now. Mm. He need, yeah, he needs to walk on the wall there. Again, he's got a terrible angle to finish that guillotine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, should, all, all he's done there is just tied his arm. Mm -hmm. Need to be a guillotine expert, like you said earlier, Marcelo Garcia probably. I think maybe yeah. finish that. <laughs> I've, I've never. I mean, even when I've competed in jiu-jitsu before, if someone tries to do that to me, I know they're just wasting their time. I'll happily just sit there with my head in and let them squeeze it out. Minute left now in this round. One minute left. Sean Clancy Jr. with the top position on John Inge. We saw some very, very promising looking striking there from uh, from Igni. Um, but then Sean was just able to get that really nice takedown. Yep. Just pulled him away from the cage. Would like to see uh, a pass here from Sean. That would be nice if he was trying to maybe, maybe get that knee slide out from there. That would be cool. But uh, John doing a, a good job of not doing much. He's just kind of neutralising the position. Yeah, we've not really safe. seen any, no, no ground and pound or any, anything like that from uh, from Sean so far. Oh, John's sticking his tongue out at Sean there, just taunting him, letting him know that he's not... Probably not the best position to do it from. Uh, They're stepping into the middle. Oh, position. and now things have gone bad for John, yeah. Let's see who's sticking the tongue out now. John neutralises it, traps that arm, and then Sean's back up looking for some nice, brutal nice ground and pound. pound. Oh, John is moving. Oh, oh, oh that connected. Oh, that and yeah. saved by the bell. He will not be sticking his tongue out anymore. No. I imagine he did not like that whatsoever. He did a good job, actually, of rolling with the punches despite being on his back in the ground there. Yeah. Like, uh, I think, I think he definitely negated, that damage was not quite as bad as it could have been there. Yeah, a couple of punches landed on the canvas there, reminded me of uh, some of Vito Belfort's last fights, throwing some strikes from, from bottom mount and actually landing a couple. Yeah, he didn't, you know, again it's that youth, youthful energy there, but he, he didn't seem too intimidated by being put in mount. Although you can see on his face there, he's definitely absorbed some shots there. He's, uh, yeah, when he's he rolled white red over that, um, that left eye. When he rolled over onto his knees at the end of the round, he took a second, a bit of a deep breath, so I think he realises he's maybe in with someone he needs to take a little bit more seriously. Yeah, I think they've, they've both gone into this with huge amounts of confidence, having both of them won their, their debut fights. I think John kind of realises now that he's in a yep. war. Looks a bit tired as well. And we are off for round two. And Sean comes out looking for a low leg kick. A nice low kick there again, but a, a nice right straight on return. Got a very nice strike, hit, the reading of what Sean's about to do there from John. Yeah, nice right hand. See John's mouth open, his hands maybe a bit lower than they should be. He looks tired now. I know for a fact. He's still uh, countering though. I mean, yeah. he's still he's, he seems happy to let Sean throw something now, and then he's ready to return. Nice right hand from Sean there. Uh, and oh, and big takedown. Excellent takedown there from John. And will we see the reverse of what happened in the previous round? Steps over. Sean does a good job of catching him there in the half guard. And John, oh, he's, he's reaching over and he's over. looking for a Kimura on the other side. 
follows it around. Sean comes on top, but John still has that Kimura grip, but it's going to be very difficult to do anything from there. And now, once again, Sean claims that top position. Be interested to see how he approaches this position. Nice right hand. There's a chance there for John to go for a, for a butterfly hook, uh, yep. but he seems content instead just to let Sean settle into half guard. I know that John had a bit of a tough week. Oh, and we have that Kimura again. Oh, and that is on tight. It's coming round and he gets the sweep using that Kimura grip and goes again. That is a really that tight. Is that is going. Tight. That is very tight. Oh, He's rolling again. And now they the hand is hand in front. Back. He's got his hand in front now. Sean's just, that was a very, very hairy moment. The step, danger is not over yet though. And he steps over it and sits on the grip and uses the opportunity to progress into mount. That could have been the last chance there from John Igney. Uh, now things are terrible. Sean comes up into mount. Vicious ground and pound. John just looking to survive. This fight's going to get stopped if he doesn't Yeah, defend he needs himself. to defend intelligently. He's just eating those shots to the head. Fate and we get it called, and is we over. have a winner. Sean Clancy Jr. progresses to 2-0, and oh, winning his second amateur MMA fight. Only 16 years old, that kid. Absolute athlete, fantastic future ahead of him. And the same can be said for John. Young, athletic, a good team behind him. I mean, yeah, John, John had some great moments in there. Um, I think just a little bit more experience, he could have very well finished that Kimura. Definitely. Maybe just a bit more hip control to, to prevent the rolling of, uh, of Sean Clancy. Yeah, but he definitely, they, they both had their moments. And bear in mind, this is amateur MMA, you know, they've both got a long, long, potentially illustrious career oh, ahead of them. of course, like, you don't hear any, like, UFC champions winning a fight and then the commentator saying, oh, but he lost a fight at amateur, it's not not how it goes yeah i mean in, in the scale of things what happens now is just a warm-up it's just experience for all for all these young fighters so phenomenal display for both and i'm looking forward to seeing either of these again ladies and gentlemen this fight was stopped in the second round in two minutes 23 by technical knockout and your winner for the fight, Sean Clancy Jr.